Hi, welcome to the faith moment today. This one's called Excalibur. I think that's right, that was the name of a sword, and I think it was King Arthur. Only him, I think, could pull it out of a stone. I remember taking our, well, at least one of our children, round Tintagel Castle down in Cornwall, where King, King Arthur was supposed to have um, uh, reigned. So what's so important about Excalibur? Well, over the last few weeks, I've talked about this Rima word, this word of life that comes out of the Bible, where the word suddenly becomes alive. As Jesus said in John 6 verse 63, I have come that you may have spirit and you may have life. Now, it's as if the Lord's really been dealing with me over this sword of the Spirit over the last few weeks. And I thought, well, I put on the armour of God. Most days I forget, but I do remember sometimes. Put on the belt of truth, blessed bread of righteousness, gospel of peace. Pick up the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the evil one. Receive helmet as my salvation and pick up the two-edged sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. But it's as if the Lord's been saying to me, there is a process that takes place. First of all, you have the Rima, the Word that becomes alive. And that brings alive your spirit of faith. And then you release the sword of the Spirit from your mouth. Revelation 19 came alive to me this week. I'll read it to you. Then I saw heaven opened and there was a white horse. Its rider is called Faithful and True and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems. And he has a name inscribed that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, wearing fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. Here we are. From his mouth came a short, sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of, of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. And on his robe and on his thigh he has the name inscribed King of Kings and Lord of Lords. King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that was um, words that I used on Sunday at Apley Bridge when we were looking at uh, Christ the King, the last week in the, the liturgical calendar before we start Advent. But it's this Sword of the Spirit and I suddenly had this picture of Excalibur, this sword stuck in the stone and then the Lord said very clearly to me into my heart the sword of the Spirit can only work if the spirit of faith is in operation and you have a Rima word the three go together otherwise the sword is as if it's locked in the stone and you can't pull it out and I'm thinking about that I'm, I'm really am um, it's what I'm looking at now in my heart a Rima word I said and I've been asking for a Rima word all week a personal one something special and I was reminded of Jesus when he went across the lake and there was the storm in the lake and he said these key words before he set off we will cross to the other side and then in the middle there he said, be still. 
And the word that came to me, the Rima word that I have, is that you are casting off. It's as if I have a boat and I'm casting off into a new journey, a new interesting journey with the Holy Spirit. I find the whole thing fascinated. I have for 30 years. So I'm cast off. God bless.